fragmentation is, in, is at the origin of all these anomalies. If we want to make a difference, we have to place reduce inequalities at the core of the international agenda. Therefore, the Brazilian presidents of the G20 has three priorities. The first one is social inclusion and fight against hunger, energy transition, and sustainable development in its three aspects, the vector social, the economic, and environmental vector. And thirdly, the reform of global governance institutions. All these priorities are part of the Brazilian presidency motto, which says, building a fair world and a sustainable planet. Two task forces will be created, the Global Alliance Against Hunger and Poverty and the Global Mobilization Against Climate Change. We, knew we need to redouble our efforts to achieve the goal of ending world hunger by 2030. Otherwise, we will be facing the biggest multilateral failure in recent years. Acting to fight climate change requires political will and determination from the rulers, as well as resources and technology transfer. We want greater participation of the emerging countries in the decision-making process of the World Bank and the International Monetary Fund. The unbearable foreign debt of the poorest countries needs to be addressed. The WTO must be revitalized and its dispute settlement system must start working again to regain to regain its political strength, the UN Security Council needs to count on the presence of new developing countries among its permanent and non-permanent members. The international community looks at us with hope because we bring together economies from emerging countries and developing and developed countries in the G20. We represent 80% of the global GDP, 75% of uh, uh, exports, and around 60% of the world's population. Technology transfer to that the G20 we want greater in participation of the emerging countries Brazil in the decision-making process of the World Bank and General the International Guides. Monetary Fund. First, the unbearable foreign debt make of the poorest countries needs to be a political and financial paths work in coordination and in a more integrated way. There's no point in agreeing on the best public policy if we do not allocate the necessary resources for its implementation. Second, we have to listen to civil society. There are no governments without civil society. The Brazilian presidency will ensure that engagement groups have the opportunity to report their conclusions and recommendations to government representatives. Thirdly, we cannot let geopolitical issues hijack the discussion agenda of the various G20 levels. We are not interested in a divided G20. Only through joint action may we face the challenges of our days. We need peace and cooperation instead of conflict. The path that will take us from New Delhi to Rio de Janeiro will require a lot of dedication and commitment from everyone. The technical groups and the preparatory ministerial meetings will be hosted in several cities in all our five regions of our country. We, for that reason, we will welcome the members of the G20 with open arms and we need effectively to the support of all the people here, including the track record of this successful summit meeting that was hosted by our dear country that is India. I will be very much honored to welcome you all to the Rio de Janeiro a summit in November of 2024. And before I hand the hammer here, I would like to thank very much to Prime Minister Modi and to thank to the Indian people for the 
competence that they had for organizing this event. And I would like to say, Prime Minister Modi, that I personally am very much touched emotionally when I want to pay a homage to our dear Gandhi that we paid a homage today. Everybody knows that in my political life, Mahamat Gandhi has great meaning because the struggle f f with nonviolence was a role model that I followed for many decades when I was in the labor movement. And that's why I very much touch and emotional when, and I'd like to thank you for the opportunity to pay this homage that we did today. Uh, and I'd like to say to all of you that Brazil will take the chair of the G20 and we will make a tremendous uh, endeavor to manage to at least try to do something as the same that our brothers and sisters from India did. Thank you very much. Your Highnesses, Excellencies, जैसा आप सब जानते हैं, भारत के पास नवंबर तक G20 प्रेसिडेंसी की भी जिम्मेदारी है। अभी ढाई महीने बाकी हैं। इन दो दिनों में आप सभी ने अनेक बातें यहाँ रखी हैं, सुझाव दिए हैं, बहुत सारे प्रस्ताव रखे हैं। हमारी ये जिम्मेदारी है कि जो सुझाव आए हैं, उनको भी एक बार फिर देखा जाए कि उनकी प्रगति में गति कैसे लाई जा सकती है। मेरा प्रस्ताव है कि हम नवंबर के अंत में G20 का एक वर्चुअल सेशन और रखें। उस सेशन में हम इस समिट के दौरान तय तय विषयों की समीक्षा कर सकते हैं। इन सब की डिटेल्स हमारी टीम आप सभी के साथ शेयर करेगी। मैं उम्मीद करता हूं कि आप सब इससे जुड़ेंगे। your Highnesses, Excellencies, इसी के साथ मैं G20 समिट के समापन की घोषणा करता हूँ। One Earth, One Family, One Future का रोडमैप सुखद हो, स्वस्ति अस्तु विश्वस्य, यानी संपूर्ण विश्व में आशा और शांति का संचार हो 140 करोड़ भारतीयों की इसी मंगल कामना के साथ आप सभी का बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद the presence of new development technology transfer. We want greater participation of the emerging countries in the decision-making process of the World Bank and the International Monetary Fund. The unbearable foreign debt of the poor 